What's good guys, it's your boy Mark aka Ranjo. I'm here with this video for the fast fade. Um, I don't want to take up too much of the time, but I just want to say thank you to everyone that supported me on the fast fade documentary. In this video, you're going to see me do the four ball fade in 15 minutes. At the end of the video, you're going to have my boy Randy aka Cake and his Randy explaining what happens and what he, uh, what he thinks as a judge and what he thinks of the haircut. And uh, I do hope this video inspires you guys to compete. Have fun, stay blessed, keep doing your thing, barber love. Yee! So here's the initial canvas on my client, Jacob. We're about to do the fastest fade competition. I'm gonna give him a four to a mid ball fade. So right now is gonna be the countdown. During this countdown, usually I like to get hyped up. Um, just be excited to compete. Right now I got the number four guard attached to the wall magic clips. Um, the, the attachment guard that you see right here is actually an Andis guard. It is the the ones fit for the Andis Masters. The reason why I like to use them is because I like to mimic the Andis Fade Masters as much as I can, but in a cordless version. But as you can see, I finished cutting the top 20 seconds. Now I'm into the bald fade portion. I'm taking my T-liners. I made my perimeter and now I'm doing full strokes just to bald out the head. Again, I'm only about 40 seconds into the haircut. I'm not worrying about making anything even. We're just taking bulk down at this time. Right now, um, as far as taking down the sides, I'm not gonna worry about that because we're gonna run that over with the Andis Profoils anyway. And even if that doesn't get it done, at the very end of the haircut, you guys will see that I am gonna razor all the bald portions of the head just to make sure that it's completely clean. There are no, it's, it's just gonna be spotless at that point. So right now, I'm taking the Andis Profoils. I'm doing full strokes again, but not focusing too much on the neck area. I'm just gonna try and run it over really quick on the neck area, that way trying to lessen the irritation on the skin because these do get down to skin really tough. Um, I'm doing full strokes, kinda, just erasing all the all the little stubbles that you see as i'm getting towards the line of the perimeter that we made initially i'm not going all the way up i'm leaving a little border of stubble just so that we can blend in that fade a lot easier i'm trying my best not to make it so much harder on myself but easy enough to blend everything out with a clipper and not have to take out this profile again and dab it downwards or do anything with it and also I like to use a brush instead of a comb just because I'm also not worrying about, you know, dusting off my client because this is a timed competition. Using a brush enables me to use it as a neck duster as well in a sense that I'm able to brush the hair off my client and renew my canvas. And right now I just took out my uh, purple guards, which is a one eighth guard, a number one guard, and it's all the way open. And I'm taking that about three fourths around the head. I'm going to take care of that portion of the head first because during this fast fade category, I'm going to, if I need to rush that quarter of the head left, I can rush it. So right now I did the 1 8th guard all the way open and right now I got the 1 16th guard all the way closed and I'm just running that all the way. Here we go. We opened it up. We're running over our work. Whenever you see my hands switch up like that, where I'm kind of, my palm, it's in my palm instead of holding it like a regular clipper. Most of the time, that's going to mean it's open, guys. That's me, hold, because I'm a lefty, I'm, I have to hold the clipper like that because the lever is always on the left side. And right here, now the clipper is all the way open. I'm grazing each pathway one time. Don't overdo it. Do not create another line. Make it easy on yourself. Here, I'm closing it up again. Closing it up. Here's the 116th. Going back over it, just so I know, my blend right now is at a perfect uh, wall magic clip open, but I'm just running it over with the 1 16th so that I can erase any lines that it made initially. So here we go, close up the clipper, graze it one time. Like I said, don't make any guidelines. Try your best not to. As I'm doing this too, I'm trying to play with the lever. Play with that lever and erase any visible dark spots that you can. If you really examine me, 
I'm moving in a robotic motion. It's kind of just like antsy full strokes. I'm hitting it in different angles and going against the grain on certain parts that I need to. I'll never cut his hair with the grain. He does not have hair that gets cut with the grain. I got the purple magic guard, uh, I'm sorry, the purple Andis guards. Again, these are the single magnetic guards. I like to use these over the black guards just because I can ensure that they're going to stay onto my client's head. And the reason why, or the, the way that I was able to use those Andis guards onto this clipper was by stretching and bending that clip onto that, on that black, black, um, black guard. Here we go again. I'm opening up the clipper and I'm playing with it. I'm grazing certain spots, not creating any lines. And for my client right here in particular, I like to use his hair because he does have hair that's flat. The type of hair for this kind of competition doesn't necessarily matter. I just like to make it, if I do use straight hair, I do like to keep it a little bit longer. So that way you can see the contrast of the fade with the dark hair on top and the and the the shades of black gray and white going all the way down into the face so as you can see we're basically almost six minutes into the haircut and i'm almost done three quarters with with this fade if you can see it i'm really handling this blend but you can see on the top of the blend it's really black. There's a black area and it looks like a line. Don't worry about that. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit that at, right before I get to that, that quarter section that's left untouched though. And I do like to use a four on top, like I said, because it definitely shows contrast with the haircut. It leaves it a little bit darker and the judges will see that you did a dip, more difficult haircut. And right here, here's me attacking that, that dark area. This is the number three guard right here. I'm grazing through it really fast. Closed. And here's the number two. Closed. Again, I'm not opening the clipper at all. Like I said, if you see me palming the clipper, that most likely means I'm, I have the clipper open, but you don't see that right now. And here we go. One eighth all the way open. And this, I, it, you can't see that I'm... Like, I don't palm it because, like I said, it's a magnetic clip, so... I don't have to worry about it falling off or anything. So this, I'm telling you right now, this is, <laughs> this is the magnetic guard open. And I like to do this all in um, upward strokes. I don't, I don't try to curve it. I try to get the shape to be as straight as possible. Like I said, not creating any lines. Because at the end, if need be, we can freehand the shape off if there's any excess hairs that are, that are hanging off or anything. And here we go, we're back to the 116th guard, the number zero guard, and this is all the way closed. And I'm just playing with it, open, close, open, close. Trying to get all the dark spots as I can. And just remember, when you do these competitions, try to section every single portion of your haircut. I try to keep my haircut, finish it in 10 minutes, start lining him up on your final five minutes. Take your time, you know, take your time on that part. For this, I got my T-liners. Like I said, I'm able to knock out that bottom line of the fade because I left that little stubble with the end of profiles. Now I'm just, I'm creating that solid bottom line that'll make that haircut pop. Don't worry if, if you don't get it all the way even or anything. Like I said, there's little hairs that are gonna stick out. We'll razor that at the end of the whole haircut. We'll razor all the bald parts off. So again, here we go. Just getting rid of all the all the little dark spots, trying to make that as flawless as possible. And I do like to I do like to hold the top of his head and keep a guard in my hand ready. The next guard that I that I feel is gonna that I'm gonna have to use next. So that's the one sixteenth. Boom, knock that out. You see that right there? I'm opening and closing. I can't even tell you. I'm moving so fast, I can't even tell you exactly what I'm doing. And look at the time. I said I have to line him up at five minutes left. I basically have one minute left to knock out that quarter of the head. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. My heart is pumping. My heart is definitely pumping. 
Here we go, quarter of the head, boom, 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 knock that out, one stroke. That's a one, one eighth guard all the way open, then I close it, one eighth guard closed. Here we go, one sixteenth guard closed. One stroke each, because you know the clipper is doing its work, you're trusting it. Guard is open again, boom, open. We're knocking this one out fast. One minute don't mean nothing, you know what I mean? Boom, close, open again, knock that thing out. We're making this happen. And you'll see, if you guys ever worry about symmetry of the haircut when you look at your client in the beginning, you'll see what I do at the end. At the end, I'll make sure when you look at my client from the front, that blend is perfectly even on both sides. Here we go, three guard, close, boom, knock that out. Here we go, we're gonna go to two guard right after that, closed. We're at five minutes, five minute mark. So basically you could tell I'm running a little bit late now. I'm kind of worried at this point. But this is a fast fade category. You cannot worry, you can't stress it. Five minutes, you give yourself five minutes because that's more than enough time to line your client up, razor him, dust him off, and run over the top one more time. Don't worry about that. And you've seen that flicky motion right there. That flicky motion was me just taking out those dark spots really fast. And right, look at my boy Adam, admiring the work. <laughs> and bear with me right here, I'm lining him up. Right now I'm just kind of tapping that line and trying to keep it as natural as possible. And I'm using my right hand with it. I'm a little ambidextrous if you guys can't tell because now I'm going to use my left hand to line up this side of the haircut. And I... And I like to, you know, use the brush and brush off the excess hair on his forehead. Because like I said, if you had a comb in your hand, you can't really do that, you know. So here we go. I'm going to be lining up. I line up the sides first because I like to set up where the line is going to be. And you can see the fade more. But right now, I'm currently doing the line across the forehead. And everything I do in this fast fade is one stroke. One stroke, run over it later. Because... I guess if you really want to break it down, I'll do a rough draft of the haircut and do the final draft at the end. You just want to make sure you finish, you know? We got 3 minutes and 30 seconds left. I'm not worrying about it too much. So, yeah, for this part of the this part of the haircut, you can tell the lineup obviously isn't as big a portion as the fade. So, I'm really taking my time on this, but doing one stroke and not, not rushing it. You do not want to push their line back. If the judges see that his line is pushed back, they will know that you've rushed this fast fade category. And that's what you're trying to do. The fast fade category is a facade that you are able to do this haircut with ease. With ease. Ooh, and I just seen that his hairline was a little crooked right there. So I'm going back. I'm stepping back and I'm looking at it, trying to make sure that it's, it's as straight as possible. Shout out Lay right. <laughs> yeah, bear with me guys, cause right now it my my camera was actually attached to my apron in the little pocket area. So here we go. Two minutes and twenty-five seconds left. I'm making those corners crisp, running it over one more time. And right after this, I'm gonna go grab my razor. Here we go. Razor was already ready. I changed the razor already. And I'm stretching the skin with my left hand, dragging that razor across with the right hand. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. You can see it right here. So this is the freehand stroke right here with the razor. And I like to go backhand. This I'm, I'm actually backhanding. I'm going up. I'm hitting his, his horizontal line right now, right across the forehead. And uh, the razor I'm actually using is the Papito Blessed Hand. It, it came with my Elegance package. Um, I think it's a really good razor, but here we go. I'm, I'm razoring across his forehead, but if you can tell, I'm doing it in a vertical way. And the reason why I'm doing that is I'm getting all the forehead hairs. I learned that actually from my boy Cake and his Randy. <laughs> so here we go. Like I said, we're balding out. We're balding out the rest of this haircut with the razor. Stretch that skin. Stretch that skin. And we're doing it dry. We're definitely doing it dry. One minute and 12 seconds left. We're good. This is our this is our stretch right here. Seventh inning stretch, bro. Don't even don't even worry about it. Basically, I'm done. Here's the four guard running over the top. One minute left. I'm not even worried. I finished the fade. Now it's time to detail. You have one minute to detail. You work until they say stop your clippers. 
don't even worry about it and that calic area you want to make sure you focus on that like i said if there are parts of the haircut that do stick out you can freehand that but don't even worry about it for his i didn't have to and guys i can't stress you enough the neck hairs will kill you make sure you get that you want to be able to beat the time that's your goal don't don't feel like you have extra things to do make sure he's dusted off if you want look i'm just detailing now he's already done i he could hop out my chair and we can call it a day but i have 17 seconds left and i'm detailing it why not you know why not so this is the part with the symmetry this is what i'm talking about i hit one side i hit that side i'm using the same exact guards on both sides to make sure it's the same three seconds two seconds one second and we're time it's done you're at that part of your battle where you're chilling you're chilling dust them off you got the neck duster here's the time my alarm going off we're good 15 minutes you guys seen it solid oh looking hurt <laughs> and here's the final product right here this is a four to a mid ball fade on my client jacob all the way down the skin you can see it it's even all the way around even all the way around and here we go we're gonna go do a little up close up close uh video right here you can see it the shades it's dark on top we're contrasting that all the way to skin all the way to skin and he didn't have to do any freehanding you could see the shape right there boom the shape of his hair it, it's laying down that's why we didn't have to do it he had that cool hair that it's straight but it, it didn't grow outwards or anything so right on y'all thanks for watching peace so that's a wrap again this is cake and his randy this is Rangel right here. He just completed the 15 minute fast fade in the category. Make sure that you guys click the next link or the next uh, video so you guys can check out how I feel about the fast fade, how I would judge it because uh, a little background about myself is that I've judged over, over two dozen uh, barber battles. So make sure to click the next link and I'll see you guys there. Yee. Yee.